Sean Jay-Z Carter, a billionaire hip-hop mogul and entrepreneur, is once again facing criticism for prioritizing his own interests over the culture that made him famous. This time Jay-Z chose to attend Tom Brady's Hall of Fame ceremony, instead of celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip-hop in June, a decision that didn't sit well with Dr. Umar Johnson. A prominent Pan-African advocate, Dr. Johnson, who first met Jay-Z at Millersville, University of Pennsylvania in 1997, didn't hold back during an interview with The Art of Dialogue. If it wasn't for hip-hop, Jay-Z might not be the megastar, mega-billionaire that he is, Johnson said. He had no right to honor Tom Brady, a white man who's never done anything significant for the black community, and the NFL, which has destroyed the careers of black men like Colin Kaepernick. Johnson pointed out that the 50th anniversary of hip-hop was a rare chance for Jay-Z to give back to the culture. Most of us won't be around for the 100th anniversary of hip-hop. This was Jay-Z's moment to honor the culture that made him, and he owed it to hip-hop. While Johnson acknowledged the philanthropic efforts of Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce he emphasized the need for Jay-Z to remember his roots in the Marcy Projects of Brooklyn. Johnson speculated that Jay-Z might have had a valid reason for his absence, but noted that the lack of an explanation was troubling. Look at all the people who paved the way for Jay-Z. From Big Daddy Kane to LL Cool J to Biggie, if you are black and successful you're standing on a lot of shoulders. Some argue that Jay-Z was avoiding the sponsor-driven exploitation of black culture by not attending the event. But if that's the case, Johnson believes Jay-Z should still use his influence to properly honor the genre. Hit the like button right now, I dare you. Hit the subscribe button right now, I dare you. Hit the share button right now, I dare you. I am the artist TV. I am the artist and you can be the artist too. Join my channel, hit that subscribe button, and we gonna take the world by storm together and we gonna figure this shit out.